Hey everyone, my name is Matt. This is Donovan, contractor extraordinaire. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to introduce you as some kind of thing now, so that's... I'm something. He's something. <laughs> how long have how long you been doing this? People have been asking that too. Uh, depending on how you calculate it. <laughs> are, we, are we still saying longer than my lifetime? Is that... Oh, well more than that. Okay. If you do when I started, that is uh, 48 years. But I was, <laughs> so I was 12 when I started okay. well, get, getting paid to do work. He's starting early. That was working on foundations when I was 12, and then 50 cents an hour. And look at you now. You just, you put this one in. Yeah. And that ended up pretty well. Anyway, so it's Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. We're going to get back into non Oh, then we got one more structural one framing more thing to do. do for the moment. Yes, yeah, so we're kind of we're a little piddling around today. We got Chris and Chris back again doing our electrical. They're I think almost done with all of the existing stuff. Yeah, pulling Re out all the demo and mas massaging the existing stuff out of the way and getting into some of the new stuff. So that's cool. So we'll give you a quick little uh, tour around we did last week and kind of catch you up in case you missed it, and then uh, we'll get to we'll get to work. So. Over here, we got we got our pantry wall kind of put in, or walls put in. So that's in this wall. I guess this is done, right? This whole this is well done. This should be ready to go. We got, we got nailers and a few things like that to do, but I mean the wall is essentially where it's going to be. Yep. Then we got so back here we come into here. We got the beam up, but we have the uh, rest, the rest of the end yeah. pieces to install. Somebody forgot to bring the right two by fours. Well, you know, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> and then back in here, we have our furring to do on these uh, two outside walls here. So when we talked about this many, many episodes ago with the, the framing, I think it's a lot more obvious now why it's getting furred out. So with our little wall here, you can see, if I pull this piece of subfloor back, we're going to bring that little inside wall out flush with what is currently covered in OSB. So that is going to make that wall 10 and a quarter inches thick. And to keep this wall essentially symmetrical looking from the inside, this one here is also going to come up the same distance. So it keeps this wall looking nice and symmetrical. Yep. So that, that, this makes a lot more sense now. Like, even though it was on paper, seeing it like in space, well, yeah, that makes, makes, more, sense. makes yeah. more sense that way. I keep all the symmetry in, and part of it is not stuck to the inside, it's the outside. Oh, it's all fancy looking. So it just, it ties everything inside and outside together and it just makes the symmetry look better. It's, it's all trim. It is all trim. I think I talked about that in <laughs> ad nauseum. Before. Ad nauseum, all trim. <laughs> all trim. <laughs> Sophia, uh, we come around on this side here. This is our last uh, opening which we can uh, get started on now since all of the electrical is out of the way. So we have a header going in here. This is going to be exactly the same as this opening, just kind of over here. And that's, I think we're going to knock that out first today. Yep, get that knocked out and then we got the stairs put in all. Oh yeah, we got, we got some stairs to put in so we can finally like not have to jump up into the great room. So more, more framing today and uh, yeah, I don't know, it's Monday. Monday, hopefully it's close. Well, I'm there. <laughs> Plenty will, I'm sure. Hey! What's <laughs> good? Watching the exhibit. Yeah, good luck. So in the case of this wall, we have a uh, functioning kitchen behind it. So we're going to leave these studs here, which are you know, sort of supporting the cabinets. They're attached to the top plate and they're attached down here. 
somewhere. Once we get this in here, we'll put a cross member in there too, just yep. to keep it a little stiffer. And then when we're done, Kool-Aid man through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> we got two of them to do. Oh, we can do it at the same time. In unison, you run through one, I run through the other. I'll do that one, that's easier. <laughs> it's like half a knot attached already. Yeah. <laughs> so we can basically we can frame out our entire opening in our header and leave the support members for the kitchen in place. <laughs> I love those little flappy doos. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're like on a little plastic. Oh. And it's got a strong magnet on it, so it's like you just go along and clunk. Yeah. The only thing it doesn't work very well on Latin plaster. But That's not the, nothing, nothing does. Right Crown in it or not? This one's got all kinds of crap in it. Yeah, this, this is. Oh. I don't know which side you want in or out. They're both. They're both pretty bad. Yeah. It's got a nice cup in it. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm holding it like this already. Eighty and three and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. E eighty-three. Yeah, three. <laughs> so it's eighty and then three and eight then and three <laughs> and a quarter strong. Okay. Eighty-three and five sixteenths. Yep. <laughs> Ish. Should I use this banana one? Yeah, please use the banana one. These things have like an expiration date. I swear. Huh? They have like an expiration date. You gotta use them within a few days, otherwise they turn into something. Ninety two and a half. Ninety two and a half. Oh, I gotta sneak it in back all through all this stuff. Let's put the packs on the outside. Hammer drill. Yep. Drill hammer. No difference. <laughs> there it is. There's an opening. One more down. Is that last? That was, well, kind of last one. Until that's finished up, I guess. All right, moving on from this opening. We're going to go in here and finish up this beam detail thing. We'll put, get the wire out of there. <laughs> That's not going to help. My fish has left their wire everywhere. Oh, a mess. <laughs> Uh, lifted it. I can just shave a little bit off. It's fine. Shave a little off. I know a guy with a saw. Saw, saw, saw. Let's see. Let's 
Gonna come back to you another half inch. Eh. How, how close do you want to be here? But it's just jam. Okay, we can find it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm get shimmed out. Try an eighth out of plum. We won't tell the homeowner. Okay. This might be longer. Did you measure it? You're seeing things I don't. Is there? It's too long. Is it? It's a full size stud, isn't it? I don't know. I thought it was the right one. I could be wrong. I, I thought mean, it, I'm wrong. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. Well, then that's, that's not. I'm just wrong. <laughs> just say it. Uh huh. Just call me out on it. I will. Nope. Not making that. Not. Not even. Nope. <laughs> Eh. Eh. Feelings. Because I'm so easily, my feelings are so easily hurt. I noticed that about you. It's so touchy. <laughs> Don't hit that tax, please. That's why I'm doing it there. <laughs> so we can see where it is. That's all I ask. Don't hit the packs. Well, there's no water in it yet, but still. I want to see where that is, and then I can measure over. Right, let's go look. Let's go find this spot downstairs. Right there, right under your pecs is where your wall is literally sitting. Inches. And there, then I'll miss. That's it. Wait a task. Wait, go completely two tasks. It's true. Did a whole opening and then another, another whole opening. Huh. Kind of like two openings. Instead of like four or five days <laughs> of jumping around, we'll half, jump. quarter, third, doing things. Yep. So that is, other than we get some trimmers to put in there, some nailers in here and stuff like that. But other than that, kind of there. Yeah, this is the whole, what do we call it? The pantry wall? Yep. Sunroom divider? I don't know what you want to call this wall. Something like that. You waiting for me? I don't know. All right, we're going to get started on the steps now. So here's a look at how the steps kind of interact with the trim details. So they're going to run in right to the cabin over here. And on this side, they're going to step over a little bit and kind of tie into the end of the bench uh, for the Brontus nook.
not even close. Four and a half. <laughs> Did you use that short one? Yes. Short one, two by six, doesn't really. Oh, you don't care if it touches the floor? No, you just strip two by four, four and a half by nine. Standard. You can't mix grain direction like that. What about wood movement? I know. <laughs> Killing me. Whatever makes you happy. Nothing makes me happy. Okay, then we'll go with that part. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you gonna try that or what? Come on, there you go. How'd that feel better? <laughs> you know, I think Chris is gonna think you're crazy. If he doesn't, he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's their, our first little box. And I guess we put another box on top of it. Yep. That's good. What's our, uh, our run on this? So they, these will be, this will be 12, 7 and 8. 12, 7 and 8. That's going to be a healthy step. It's a nice, comfortable step. <laughs> And then over here, Chris and Chris have the, well, actually they moved the uh, switches. There we go, there's a word for They're it. Gone. So the switches for the great room have been relocated. That's what Chris is working on right now. They're going on to that side of the wall. So a lot of this is all coming into this one junction here, basically standing where those switches were, giving us some more wire and then bringing them over to that side. And then other Chris is up here in the ceiling, adding some more lights into the great rooms we can actually see in there, which is awesome. We're able to run off the existing electrical for the fan lights, two there, two here, and then two there, all tied into the fan lights. Now what? I'm gonna get rid of that tongue so I can wash it off in the face. Oh. That was sneaky. You want to guess where those are later? Up, up, oh, down a little bit. Up, oh, right there. Six and three quarters. Six and three quarter wide pieces. One at Six feet. Do you want me to cut it to whatever that is first, or do you want me to actually just leave it long for you? You can. 51 and a half. And what are the short ones going to be? Um, they're going to be 10 minus inch and a half, so eight, eight and a half. And you want five of those? Yep. Five at eight and a half. Oh, it's okay. Let me go trudge through the snow.
Oh, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Isn't that better? That's a lot better than having a hop up here. That's crazy better. Like it's some steps. That's that really changes the look too. Yeah. Just having some actual steps there. Yeah. Wow. Make sure Chris can get out of the great room safely. That's, <laughs> is that what it is? All about. <laughs> so that is going to do it for today's progress. Actually, a fairly productive day. We got this all opening, that's all framed in and done and ready for uh, the future. This uh, passway through here is done, so this is all framed in and ready to go. So that takes care of essentially the back wall that goes between the pantry slash breakfast nook and the sunroom. So that's all in place. And then we also have a step here going up into the great room now, which is uh, a big, big change of having that out of the way. Also pretty excitingly, our engineer is back in the office today and got us the specs for the beam that's to go in the basement to support the, uh, the posts that are supporting this beam, which are going to be supporting this beam here. So tomorrow we're going to take care of the rest of this and the kids say hi. <laughs> so we'll catch up with you tomorrow. We're going to hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, we're going to take care of all of this situation here tomorrow. All right, happy Tuesday. I guess it's Tuesday, yeah. It's Tuesday. it's Tuesday. We got our engineering specs. Don and got our new LDLs for our basement beam. Yep, yep. These are going to go up into this cavity here, which we showed, I think it was a few episodes ago, this thing here. We have this opening here, which this uh, header is going to support our big beam, which carries the whole front of the house. And the one problem we have was this post here ends up not in a good spot on the foundation. This one's fine. This one's kind of floating a little bit. So that right there, that hole is the uh, inside of that opening. So kind of missed the foundation here, or what we assume is a foundation. <laughs> It's uh, not quite. The foundation is actually further back in there. So these beams will span this opening and we'll be doing eight feet. So we're going to go from here and we run all the way past into there. We also have the beam in here, which carries the floor joists for the original house. You can see them here. They lap over that beam and uh, run in this direction. So we have the beam nesting in here and we're actually going to span, I think, past that beam onto a little better foundation back there because over here is kind of kind of iffy looking anyway. Let me see if I can get a little better view of what's going on here. So right there that's the beam which is carrying the floor joist for the original part of the house and you can see over here the block is actually broken back so only the uh, outside of the block is still there so we're going to try and go past this beam onto a little more stable foundation back here somewhere. There we go. That's a little better view there. There's a double rim, I think, out on here, and they pulled this one off for whatever reason. And then this was the old one, and then we've got our new framing behind this one. But this is all it is, is face brick or face in here now. So that's not holding much. This <laughs> web is cracked, and this web is cracked, and this one is starting to crack. So I want to get my bearing back in there someplace. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put an LVL here, which will come out a little bit wider, and then the next two will go all the way over, and then we'll cut our, our tree that we'll put in there afterwards. We'll just notch out for this. So then how, how far back are you going to go is that with those two? I'm going to probably go another foot past, or uh, this is probably another 10 inches past this. 
And then we're on a nice clean. <laughs> and it's going to be a pain to get that. Nice, nice clean. And look at the Use, block. Using is, that very loosely. The, the block is more secure. <laughs> And then we'll just sandwich all of this. will get sandwiched together. We got we got fasteners this time. Yep. How are we gonna? Yep. Get up in here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm with you. There's gonna be some interesting legs to put in. Okay. You want to grab the uh, the saw, the cutoff saw, because we're gonna have to cut one of these LVLs shorter. All right. Okay. Well, so you just you need your saws all too today. You think? I'll just uh, bring it down. I, if it's, I, you might want to grab it on your way. So you want to come back to here? Yeah, like three inches past or so. Yep, I'm going to get these nails out of the way. Is that one at the bottom? Kind of directly below where you're. I'm just um, oh, that way further right there. What's up? Yes, it's a nail, Looking. which I can't even see. All right, here we go. Blind grinding. Don't put your finger in the hole in the grinder. Oh, I was thinking that'd be the perfect place for it. <laughs> it's, I literally cannot see because it's right. Right at that edge, <laughs> just below where you can see. Uh huh. It's up there. <laughs> Are you destroying the house again? I think I know why his basement's so cold all the time. Oh, it's just There's like nothing in here. Yeah. It's just furred out from the block with all the insulation. Yeah. Of course yeah. it's cold down here. So let's grab our jack. So huh. I've got inch and three quarters from block left over on this side. Yeah. Inch and a half. Oh, good. A little taper action. Yeah. Which means we're good on this side. We're going to be short on this side. What was the inch and three quarter? Yeah. We've seen a spacer. Yep. A quarter and spacer. Yep. I know a guy that can make any size wood you want. Well, that's good because it's got this thing called a planer. That's what I figured. Some people call it a thicknesser. Take it whatever thickness you want. Almost out of travel? Yep. I got enough weight for this. Whoa, 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 it's too much. Too much down? Too much down. Want another block? No, that's enough. It's just, I don't have to. I can put another block under it for you. I don't want to jack it all the way up. I'll put another block under it. No! No, I'm doing it this way. I shouldn't expect it to go down that much with me on it. <laughs> the first time it weights actually enough for something. Yeah. It's the first time. You're seeing it here first. Here we go. I can compress a jack, but I can't pull a sheet of drywall off the ceiling. <laughs> nope. Not even remotely close. <laughs> You want these flush on this end? Yep. They come my way like an eighth. Good. Uh, yeah, well, that's fine, yeah. You know, it's actually like, who, who cut these? With, and with what? They should have a, they have a gang, <laughs> it's a chainsaw. Oh yeah, that'd, they, be, that'd they, be a chainsaw so cut, they, yeah. They run it and it's, it's, as, it's as it's going. So it's like running out and then you just, Oh, big old chopper thing. Yep. But yeah, it's a chainsaw. <laughs> These are, uh, yeah, yeah. 
kind of all over the place. Yeah. So those are up there now. Yep. So let's. We're gonna try and finagle that treated board in there now. Are you gonna do one continuous piece or are you gonna do two? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two. I, there's no way get, we're getting it. That's <laughs> two is probably easier, but I'm I'm all for Making some kind of challenge that sounds ridiculous. Actually, no, I want to see this magic trick. <laughs> well, you, we both do. <laughs> really? Already? Oh, it's like mushy still too. Oh yeah, this is like it's a fresh out of the pond. It's, it's frozen and <laughs> great. Wet. Uh huh. One more? No, oh, I like it. Oh, it fits? It's, it's like I'm I'm having to jam it to get it in there. I mean, it, it's just sliding underneath. That's good so, though. We'll put our notch in. Good thing we used that reclaim one book <laughs> and it didn't destroy my blades. <laughs> So strong. I'm gonna put deodorant on today. I think. What has to do with you being strong? What scented? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I can't even. <laughs> I'm gonna try and finagle um, it in there or? Let's grab the green bar, maybe. The big one? Yep, and we'll see if we can pry that in. Okay. Where do I get leverage? Let's lift up on the jack a little bit. A little bit more. Okay, we're about halfway in. That's going. Is that it? I think you're in all the way. I come in there. I can't really tell off this tiny screen, but it looks like... I'm tight on the back. I, I think it looks like you're in and there. And even. All right, let's... Um, yeah, you're up. You're in all the way. Now to get some lags in there. Do you want to you do it first before putting the block on the other side? Yep. Okay. How the hell am I supposed to get a lag in here? Well... With the drill. We may be improvising here a little bit. Do you have a... I have, I have. <laughs> I do, I have. See how my, my snaps are going for? Oh, it's snapping all right. Positive, negative, just, just snapping in general. Yeah. Uh, That's what we used up here for the, uh, this beam thing. Where's my impact? I know, but I had a socket on it. Oh, fine, 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 fine. What uh, what size uh, hole? Three inch drive.
you gotta follow me into the tool shed. This is the first time, usually I have to do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll work. Wait, what is this? You're not allowed to have the red tools. Where'd you get these red tools? <laughs> this is not a red tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What uh, what size drive is that? Three eighths. Three eighths drive. Make it five sixteenths. I got a screw here. I guess you got started to get some more space now. Yep, I might. I think I can get. Um, I might be able to get something else in there now to. Yeah. Get this. <laughs> this tool does not like this. <laughs> it's well, not really made for this. <laughs> no, it's really not. I mean, this is like it's like one of the lighter gauge ones that they have. Yeah, it's made for like spinning off nuts after you break them loose. <laughs> Yeah, it's tight now. All right. Yep, real good. Nice. It does not like this. <laughs> it's, it's a ratchet. It's not a driver. We just... Yeah. I'm hearing things. No more. Good. The sounds. We haven't even made this girl creak yet. <laughs> Stick your head right through there. Oh no. Oh good, yeah, that's... It's daylight. Yeah, no wonder it's drafty. That's a big old hole too, huh? Yep. But we probably might have probably just lifted it just a little bit. Yeah, but you can all the way down to the corner you can see it. Yep. Another reason why it's so cold down here. <laughs> Air intrusion. Yes. And no insulation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three eighths is what I really need. Lindsay's uh, skateboard scrap is now going to become a shim in our house. Someone's gonna love this someday, they're gonna and, I'll, like, and I'll never time. see it. <laughs> and they're gonna see that the, the, the glue joint in there. <laughs> like, what the heck is this? Walnut and maple? <laughs> Did someone make a skateboard at some point? All right. Let's screw this off, and that's it, right? Yep. We're, we're done down here. That was not bad. No, I had more time figuring it out. Than... <laughs> I thought that was gonna go a lot more poorly. That, the, the, you know. That'd be both of us. <laughs> yep. That's not bad.
on. All right, so now back up here again. It's time to start getting our beam up into our pocket that we made, I don't know how many weeks ago. We a long ago. So we're gonna get a final measurement on the depth of the pocket, or the height of the pocket, and then we'll adjust the beam to that uh, thickness. Oh, it's so much lighter now. Take that quarter inch off. Yeah. Maybe we should have put a little step stool here for me. I'm in. This guy. You want a hammer? Yep. There you go. Oh man, I forgot how much like force it takes to keep this thing on the <laughs> head of the bolt. Ah. Oh, open it up. Three real Oh, oh, oh. It's oh, I mean, it's what a difference. Just those, it's just some posts, but it really just blocks off the space so much. It's so weird. And we're doing the same nailing, same, same, same pattern. pattern. The other side, the six, 16 every other. There. It's not my day.
200 bucks. Oh, yeah. Ta-da! That makes a huge difference. Huge! I added four feet to this room. <laughs> that makes a four foot difference. <laughs> yeah. It's gone! Like it was never there. <laughs> now I can really get a sense of the windows too. That's 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 a that's a lot of window. <laughs> you can be seeing the sunset from there. Let's go cut it. Let's go. It's almost sunset time. Do you have a chainsaw to cut it out? Cut it out. This is great. What a good day. Two days in a row. That's it. Quit while you're ahead. So there we go. We got some space. We got an outlet for a fridge. Look at this. Oh, I yeah. walked all the way to the windows. Ta-da. 36 feet. I just. Do you measure it? It's 36 feet by 16 feet. And then it goes up. It gets wider over there. Another four feet. That'll do. That's, <laughs> it's a lot of space. It's a lot of space. Well, now we finally have this out of here, so you finally get a feel for what this little four foot of extra space ended up being. I think it makes a huge difference. Yeah. Just having a little more room up here gives us a little, uh, quite a bit more space. You've got that walkway that kind of through here, that kind of defines the space. So when you come in, you've got the kitchen, straight room, and then back to the sunroom. Yeah. So this is, you know, Basically a four and a half foot wide corridor. You coming to help? Yeah, just say, like, let's go up. What's going on, guys? What's going on here? <laughs> so then over here, we just have our final opening because we're over width here. So we got to figure out where this is going to yeah, go. It's going to come over about 10 inches on this side. The other side's fine. Put the rest of the little cripples in there, and then that's it for like framing here, except besides the back area where. Yeah, fill up with two walls. And that's really kind of it in here. We're getting there. Almost done in here, just in time to go back outside. Our windows are in. The door that everything is set by is getting closer. It's, it'll be here soon enough. Yep. So thank you, as always, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about whatever this is, please feel free to leave us a comment. As always, we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, Happy woodworking and whatever else you feel like doing or whatever. Whatever you want to do. Whatever. Just do what you want to do. I don't know. Just do it. Just, just do it.